patam 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 As I mentioned in the previous video, uh, time offset modifier is really really handy. So let me show you more options. So here we have this uh, this animation loop uh, with the time offset modifier. So let me duplicate this one, and now we have this option, this frame offset. So now I can offset the, the animation. Even I can play with the frame scale. Okay, to speed up this animation. Okay, and if you remember, we pencil our objects, so you can start combine different objects, rotation, and time offset values. So here, for example, let me duplicate this one, and now I can rotate this. Okay, put something here. Okay. Put another time offset value, another frame scale. Okay, and now I duplicate again this one and turn off the other lines. And I use this wrist pencil to put uh, in front. Okay, and change the time offset value, the frame scale, even play with the scale of this wrist pencils. So now you have a different fire shape. Or even I can duplicate this one and rotate. And now it's more like a lava thing. Uh, and I can combine this time offset modifier with another modifier. In this case, it's hue and saturation. So I can change the, the color. Okay, and now it's more like a waterfall. So remember, we pencil our objects and you can start combine this rotation and different modifiers to to go crazy. Okay. Bye.